So I installed an Electro & Co EMX QS138 kit on a Mega Moto mini bike frame. And the bike is fast. It did around 76 miles an hour and in the two second range from zero to 30. So the kit came with an EM150 controller version two, which fit really nice under the seat on this frame. And of course you had the QS138 motor version two. And then on this build, I used one of Electro & Co's 76 volt 24 amp hour batteries, which fit really nice on this frame. So on this build, I'm running a 14 and a half inch tall tire with a 40 tooth rear sprocket. So the kit comes with a 10 tooth motor sprocket. With a 10 tooth and the short rear tire, this thing had massive torque taken off. So to calm that down a little bit and then add a little top speed, I added a 14 tooth motor sprocket. So with the 1440, the bike achieved its 76 mile an hour top speed, but still has massive torque on the low end with this gearing because the bike still does around two seconds from zero to 30. So this time around to see if we can make the bike maybe just a little bit quicker and a little bit faster, because you know, the bikes can never be fast enough. I'm gonna swap out the EM150 version two controller for this Electro & Co True Moto Noisy Cricket controller. So I can either mount the Cricket underneath the seat here, or I can mount it above the battery, like on this bike, the EC4P. And this one has a Noisy Cricket, and I mounted it under the frame rails here. And this is the same frame. So I'll pull this thing apart and then we'll see where I'm gonna mount this thing. Got the noisy cricket on there and it fit really well under that seat. So we have the True Moto app that goes along with the noisy cricket. So we can pair the motor to the controller and then update all the settings. So I think the motor and controller are already paired from the factory, but the app optimizes it. So you have multiple battery options. So this bike has a 76 volt, 24 amp hour battery. Then a QS138 70H version two. So this app's really cool. You get your power settings and then your torque settings, throttle, aggression, speed, regen. So another cool thing about this app, it keeps track of zero to 30 and zero to 60 times. So you don't have to use a draggy, but it does it with the tire speed. So all you have to do is put in the tire diameter. So this one here, is 14 and a half inches tall or 368 millimeter. So I put that in the app already. Then it comes up with 2.857 for the gear ratio. Then you can change the controller name. So to enable the drag mode, so the app will record zero to 30 and zero to 60 times, you push the flag and then the drag mode is enabled. So let me run the bike real quick here. All right, so we've got a zero to 30 time of 0 0.391. So that's kind of cool. And then another cool thing is the app works upright or in landscape mode. So you can mount the phone on the handlebars and read the gauges. So Electro Co has a good video on YouTube on how to run this app. So I think that's pretty much it. So now I will take it out and test her out for a zero to 30 in top speed and we'll see what it does.
So I have this set on the first setting right now, and it still has a lot of power. Man, this thing has some torque. Man, this thing flies on 50% power. <laughs> Man, this thing moves. Man, I already did 62.52 miles an hour on 50% power. Now I'll test it at 75 and we'll see what it does. The middle setting. So right now we're at 86 volts. Man, this thing flies, man. It's got a lot of torque. So what do we do on 75%? Let me look. So 69.85 miles per hour on 75% power. Man, this thing flies. It's got all kinds of torque. So I have the torque set on maximum in the app. But I think I'll just leave it. I'm kind of getting used to it. So now let me try it on 100% power. And we're at 85.8 volts. Oh man, this thing's got amazing torque <laughs> at 100%. Drop it down to 80 volts right there. Man, this is a tough battery. Alright, let's see what we did. Man, that thing was flying. So it did 78.71, almost 79 miles an hour. Yeah, this thing definitely has a torque. If you put a smaller gear on the back of this thing, it would go into the 80s easily. But we already gained a couple miles per hour over the um, EM150 controller. So right now, we are at 84.8 volts. So, so far on this trip, we've been around three miles and the battery is still at 83.8. Yeah, I don't know if I want to gear this thing for any more speed. It's pretty much the perfect gear. It almost does like 80 miles an hour and it's super quick. I'll have to do a zero to 30 up here real quick. All right, so let's head back up the hill. Right now we are at 80 volts. I'm barely cracking the throttle right now and we're running about 78 volts so 
So I'll go down here and do a zero to 30 real quick, even though the battery's a little bit lower. So we're about 81.7 volts and we've been around six miles so far. So let me do a zero to 30 real quick, even though the battery's down just a little bit. I'll just do it on 75, the middle setting first, just to make sure that I can launch this thing. All right, zero to 30 QS138 with the noisy cricket. So it's pretty manageable at 75%, 81.2 volts. And we did 0 to 30 and 2.76 at 75% power. Man, this thing is quick. Let me see if I can launch it at 100% power. I'm pretty sure I can with this swing arm. I'll just leave the, uh, I'll leave the torque setting in the app to max and I'll see if I can launch it. So we started out here with about 87 and a half volts and now we are at 81.3 so let me see if I can launch it at 100% power all right 0 to 30 QS 138 with the noisy cricket all right I kind of rolled into it a little bit but let's see what we did a 2.5 so two and a half seconds and I kind of rolled into it. I think I could get this bike into the one second range for sure. And we're at 81 volts, so the voltage is down just a little bit. Man, that thing still moves. So right there on that pole, the battery went down to 79.6. Let me turn down the torque a little bit in the app and I'll see what it feels like. We'll see how quick it is. We'll see what difference it makes. So torque. So I turn it down to 285 just to see what it feels like. Let me set it. See if it calms down that throttle response a little bit. Oh yeah, it slowly comes on now. It definitely makes a difference. It's still got a lot of pull though. Yeah, that's cool. That definitely makes a big difference when you turn down that torque. So let me set it back up to um, max, 500 phase amps. All right, there we go, back to max. Yeah, that's easy enough to mess with the settings on this. All right, let me do another quick run. So we're at 80 volts. Oh yeah, big difference. It's like way throttle responsive. Oh yeah, that's way quick. I'm definitely gonna have to put a noisy cricket on the QS120 because the frame is shorter and it would be easier to launch with that app. This bike here can handle it with the swing arm. So the bike did close to 80 miles an hour with 78.71. So I know I could get it way past 80 miles an hour. If I put a smaller sprocket on the back, it has a lot of torque. It definitely could pull a smaller gear. Yeah, so after all that riding, this thing is barely warm. And the motor's barely warm. 